<laughs> Perfect. But why? This body had the blood and flesh of evil gods and overlords. There was no losing factor. You don't even know the reason why you lost? Then that makes you a hopeless fool. Superhero, you've been abandoned by the last one who admired and believed in you. Since then, you completely lost your right to be a hero and turned to evil. Because you were so desperate to stay a hero, you ignored being the hero. What an ironic punishment. Sir Orm, why did this happen? I was tired. This way of life, the task of bringing down strong evils. I wasn't allowed to die. Stronger, 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 demanding to be the strongest. Even if I died, I was forced to come back to life. Oh, how could you die? Did I not even have the right to die? I just wanted to live as a hero and die as a hero. That's why I searched for the Overlord everyone acknowledged as the strongest and sought for a place to die. Sir Orem. But after I defeated the strongest Overlord, an immense sense of emptiness came over me. I no longer had any enemies. I realized there was no way to prove myself a hero. And then, I became extremely afraid that I'd be forgotten by everyone. And that's when you saw the pure evil inside me. Yes. After seeing your hidden powers, I realized I still had a reason to exist. How... <laughs> Though that ended a dream. <sighs> Why do villains have to rant about their own feelings at the end? Come on. Tolerate me at least for the end. It's a privilege for the defeated. <laughs> Done with your prayers? I have no family, no friends left in this world. I have no one to protect. There is nothing I regret. Ah, no. There's just one thing. Mao, Almaz. I'm sorry the superhero you guys admired had to end like this. Please, forgive me. What? I didn't admire you! You're not that good at hiding it. Goodbye, true heroes. I'm proud to have fought you in the end. And now, I will fall to hell. Mao, finish me off my little friend. Friend, huh? All right then, it's your final wish. I'll hear you out. Come, prepare! Now, finally. Just kidding. <laughs> Why would I let you die that easily? What? You thought I would allow a normal ending like that? I will keep you alive. I've decided to keep you as my guinea pig for my evil research. <laughs> Especially with that final form. You're a rare subject. It'll be worth my time to fix you up. Let's see. Rockets on your knees. Missiles for fingers and shoot laser beams from your eyes. What? You're okay with an ending like that? Where's your happily ever after? <laughs> Have you forgotten? I'm a demon! Your common sense doesn't work on me! To my lab! No! I guess they reached
reached an agreement, though it seems Sir Mao is still a little crazy. At least you avenged your dad, Mao. Yeah, now I just need to beat dad and let him rest in peace. Let's head there. I'm coming, dad. Dad? Wh huh? That seems a little strange. He's already passing on, it seems. Does this mean... Indeed. Mao did a splendid job cooking up the superhero. He's gained friends and fully understands his heart. I'm sure the Overlord will rest in peace now. The spell that bound his soul here has disappeared. Boom! I see. So he didn't have a grudge with Mao. I bet he was just worried about you, and that's why he couldn't pass on. Impossible! Dad had to have hated me! I doubt it. I'm sure he's been watching over you even after he died. The whole time. <laughs> Whatever. Just because Dad can't talk doesn't mean you can interpret for him. You've become strong. You've grown up, Mao. Dad? Is that really you? I'm relieved. I can go now. That's a kind voice. See? <laughs> Dad! Maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> the rest is for family only. I saw nothing, heard nothing. Dad. I know. You now know. You gained many precious things from many of your friends. You'll be fine. You can do it. I leave the Netherworld and Evil Academy to you. The next Overlord is you, Mao. Dad! Dad? Overlord! I'll become even greater than you! I'll be the greatest Overlord 